Hello everyone and welcome back. I recently got an upgrade on my drawing tablet. I used to use the Samsung S7 tab and while I absolutely love this tablet and um, to bits for as long as I've created digital art and do not intend to stop using it when I'm not on my PC, I just feel like I needed an upgrade. A little bit of a bigger screen and I definitely got what I wanted with this one. I just needed something a bit bigger for my desktop. I got lucky and I snagged this Hueon tablet for just over 500 euro. It was on sale but I think the normal price for this is around 600 euro. I know that's quite a bit of money but you know as you'll see later in this review I think it's worth the price. Especially if you're an intermediate or professional artist I think it's a great budget tablet. I'm going to go into the reasons as to why. That's why I went and got myself the Huion Canvas 22 Plus. I promise I'm not sponsored but I'd love it if I ever was. Now I have been using this tablet for about a week so I'm going to go over the impressive specs on this tablet, the cons and the pros. Alright let's go. As you can see this tablet is big and that's the main reason why I wanted it. I wanted a bigger screen to draw on. So that's the main appeal. The screen itself is a gorgeous IPS panel with very accurate colours and a nice contrast ratio of 1200 to 1. There are great viewing angles on this. It's not that I'm looking away from the centre that much, but on the occasion, I like to tilt the screen away from me for comfort and the viewing angles can help with this. There is, however, an anti-glare screen cover on this tablet, which makes the colour skew warmer than what you might see on your traditional regular monitor. That was noted in the description before I bought it, and while it's noticeable, I still think it looks great and may even prefer the warmth compared to my Samsung tablet. One of the biggest downsides for this monitor, however, is that it's only 1080p. The 4K versions were just way out of my price range, so I decided to stick with this one. I think they're about around a thousand for the 4Ks. I couldn't spend that much on a new drawing tablet. Maybe it'll be a future upgrade for myself, we'll have to see. It is noticeable, but it by no means makes the screen less nice to draw on and it still looks great. The screen also said on the ad that it was laminated for better accuracy. And I was wondering what this meant. And as far as I can notice from the drawing, you know, between the drawings on my Samsung tablet for years compared to this, there is always a little bit of where my pen was off from where my hand was on my Samsung. I noticed on the Huion though that it felt like it was a little bit closer to the nib of the pen meets the screen than what I was used to, so it felt more accurate in that regard. Drawing on this also feels like I'm drawing on paper again. I haven't, you know, it's not like I've ever stopped drawing on paper, I just don't do it as much as I did when I first started um, drawing. I inserted a very quick clip of me sketching on the screen, it has a nice feeling. And it's, you know, making it so it's just a little bit jarring for me to go back to my Samsung tablet. I got so used to drawing on the more slippery screen that it was a shock and it felt like I had a little bit more control over my pen with the Huey on. The tablet also comes with a nice braided wire for the connection, check it out. It has five buttons at the top to change your classic display settings and to turn off the screen. It doesn't have buttons to remap like I've had with previous tablets. I had a Gaumann tablet with a couple of buttons that came on it, but I find that I end up using my keyboard anyways instead of on model buttons. But it might be make or break for you if you do like shortcut buttons. I just thought it was something that should be mentioned. This tablet also comes with a really nice stand so that it can change the degree that you're working at. Sometimes when you're working, you need to give your arm a little bit of a rest with a different angle. So having the option to move it around is necessary and nice. Finally, we'll take a look at the accessories that came with. It comes with the pen, obviously, and a little stand for the pen to hold in. It also comes with a couple of extra nibs on the bottom, which is always really nice in case you do run through a nib quite quickly. I didn't notice my nib going down particularly fast. And I think that's just with the light touch that I use anyways. I think these nibs will last you a long time if you decide to get it. And it also came with a drawing glove. I'm always chasing these gloves around. I'm always happy to get another one when I can get the chance. So this is a welcome addition. And then you also get this really nice microfiber cloth. It's got really nice round cornered edges and makes it feel, you know, different than your usual microfiber cloth that you might get. 
You also get this wire that you can connect up to your phone or laptop, and while that may be a feature other people are into, I am not. I did try it out, and it does work in programs on the mobile apps. It might be a solution if someone really wants or needs to use this with their mobile phone or laptop. Like I said, I've been using this tablet for over a week and I've enjoyed every moment I've used it. It's certainly the upgrade I wanted and needed for my current situation. And just to recap, the overall cons of this tablet are that it's it's big and bulky, so moving it around is not easy and not recommended. The screen is only 1080p and could be a deal breaker for someone that is looking for a sharper looking display. And the screen has a warmer colour to it as the anti-glare screen blocks out a bit of that blue light that you would see on your normal monitor setup. Pros of this tablet are that it feels like drawing on paper, the colours look great and the pen is really accurate. The screen is big enough for you to do anything you need to do it on. I would recommend this tablet if you're looking for an upgrade from your previous setup, but I would not recommend this tablet for beginners. I would recommend a cheaper tablet for someone who is beginning. I know my very first tablet was actually a bamboo Wacom tablet. And I would recommend a cheaper tablet for someone who is beginning. I know there are a lot more affordable options nowadays if you're looking for a screen in tablet. I would just recommend a smaller one until you feel like you need the bigger screen. I would, however, recommend this to intermediate or professional artists. I'm an intermediate artist myself, and I think this is great value for your money. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you want to support me, please consider taking a look at my shop in the bio. I have cute stickers and a beautiful handmade book I made for people who love D&D creatures. Anyways, let me know what you think of in the comments below. Like and share this video if you found it helpful. And thank you all so much for the support. It really does mean the world to me. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.